director with the Pampered Chef, and last year she had 142 cooking shows, totaling over $86,000. I know. You saw her up here uh, when Barb was doing recognition. In six months, she recruited 16 new consultants onto her team. Like, amazing. And she's only been with us since 2006, so not a long time. You were just having a great old time. So Sarah is going to be doing a live cooking show. So take it away. Thank you. Okay, well, I want to thank you all for coming this evening, and I want to thank Stephanie for hosting. Thank you for opening up your home. Um, I have a little gift for Stephanie. This is our season's best cookbook, and it is in the current catalog. Who here has never been to a Pampered Chef show? Okay, a few of y'all. Um, this cookbook is always my favorite because it's only two dollars. It's got great appetizers, main dishes, and desserts. It is fantastic to use as cards. Happy birthday, best wishes, congratulations, anything like that. For those of you that do not know, Stephanie is about to graduate in May as valedictorian of her class, and we are all very proud of her. Woohoo! Um, I'm really just kidding. We are going to pretend she is going to graduate. This is her yearbook, and so if you would just sign a note in either the front or the back so she'll remember the fun we're about to have, then that way she will have fun when she's cooking recipes in here. So I'm going to pass that around. While that's going around, I'm going to start on the opposite side of the room, and if you would just real quick introduce yourself to me, share your favorite Pampered Chef product, and if someone picks your favorite, you've got to move on to your next favorite because we can't duplicate. And then if you had an extra $500 a month to spend on anything you wanted to, except it can't be gas, groceries, or bills, in other words, fun money, what would you spend it on? So, okay. my name is Donnie Shepherd, and my favorite pamper chair product is the grill pan. The grill pan! I love what all do you like to cook in it? Grilled vegetables, chicken, I mean, I love to do grilled asparagus, zucchini. Awesome. I mean, I used Did you to host a party to get it free? Yes. Awesome. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Very good. And what would you do with your $500? Um, my husband and I both love to ski, oh. and our boat is so old <laughs> that I would like save a little up for a down payment and then pay my boat payment. Love it. Next. Okay. Hi, I'm Lee Bailey, and my favorite product is this citrus peeler. Citrus peeler. <laughs> Great to take in your little lunch bag to my office. That can there you go. And, and what would you do with your five hundred dollars? I would probably save it for vacation. Vacation anywhere yes. in particular you want to go? Uh, around the world <laughs> on a motorcycle. <laughs> there you go. Very good. Okay. And last but not least, Stephanie, will you share oh, with us your favorite say. product you already have in your to kitchen? Say. What's top on your wish list from the party tonight? And then what would you do with your five hundred dollars? Okay. Well, I. Love the deep covered baker that I bought when I was at Dottie's show. It's fabulous. Yes. What's your favorite thing to cook in it? I like to make fajitas. Very the ones good. that we made at Dottie's party, they were delish. Very good. And Who here does not have the deep covered baker, by the way? Okay, we got three choices. You're either going to buy today, Stephanie's going to love you, or you're going to book a show off Stephanie and she's going to love you as well, or you're going to do what I do and I'm going to help you get it free. But go ahead, we're going to talk about it more in a minute. And I really want to get a new stain. I'm dying for a stainless steel skillet. So oh, that's what I'm Very really good. We're going to get that 60% off this month. Awesome. What would you do with your $500? My daughter has just announced that she would like to attend the University of Notre Dame. So oh. I think I will be saving that money to pay for her tuition. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Okay, we all, all had great favorites. Well, a little bit about myself for those of you that I have not met. My name is Sarah McGuire. I have been with Pampered Chef seven years today. Seven years ago today was my very first cooking show. Um, I have three beautiful children, so I'll pass that around. Mackenzie is 13, Evan is 10, and John Allen is 5. He is our little oops baby. His nickname is Moxie for Moxicillin. Let y'all figure that one out. <laughs> um, but I would not trade him for the world. He is That's the biggest hysterical. blessing, so we do love him. For those that have seen Yes, he is biologically related to the other two, even though he looks completely different, so I did not get divorced and remarried and have a third child. Um, when I started Pampered Chef seven years ago, it was strictly for the social outlet. I am a CPA by trade, and prior to having children, I was an auditor for Ernst & Young, and I was very blessed to be able to stay home and my husband support us. 
Um, and then fast forward five years later, I attended a cooking show. I had hosted several. I had lots of products. I do not like to cook. I still do not like to cook. But I was at this show in January of 2006, and Evan, my middle child, was going to be going into kindergarten. And I thought, well, I'm not going back into corporate America. That's overrated. I don't need to. But if both kids are in school, what in the world am I going to do with my time? God had not yet revealed that we would have a third child, and I could have played hooky for five more years. But that's okay. <laughs> So I nudged my neighbor sitting next to me and I said, hey, what if I could pamper Jeff? And she thought that was the funniest thing in the entire world. And I said, why are you laughing? She said, Sarah, you do not cook. You make tacos, sloppy joes, spaghetti, grilled cheese, sandwiches, and tomato soup. And she said, and you are the shyest person I have ever met on this planet. So I sat there for a minute and I went, huh. I guess I'll show her. So seven years later, 850 shows later, here I am. I absolutely love doing what I'm doing. I get paid to party. I will tell you, I still don't like to cook. My kids think when I say it's time for dinner, let's go to the car, figure out where we're going to eat. And I am, when I'm outside my comfort zone, I am very shy. I attribute my success to my oldest child, Mackenzie. When she was two years old and I was seven months pregnant with her, we found out she was profoundly deaf. She has a genetic syndrome that caused it. She has cochlear implants. Don't start signing to me because I apologize. I do not know sign language. She is completely verbal. She is in the seventh grade on the AB honor roll. This year she started playing the saxophone. Who would have ever thought a deaf child would play a musical instrument? And she does phenomenal. So, yes. The reason she's my inspiration, she has never once asked us, why did God choose for my ears not to work? And she has never said, I can't do this because my ears don't work. And so if she can overcome that disability, even though I'm shy, even though I don't like to cook, I can get up here and share great recipes, great tools, and help others get, you know, reach their goals, feed their family, and all that. So that is how I got here. What we're going to do tonight, we're going to make my favorite, favorite recipe. I think I've done this 400 times. We're going to make rush hour chicken fajitas in the deep cover baker, or as I will refer to it from now on, the magic pot. And then we're going to make a real quick salsa recipe. So each of you guys have a catalog and an order form. A couple quick little admin things. After you fill out the top of the order form, you'll see kind of in the middle, this month's guest special, when you spend $60 or more before tax and shipping, you're all going to get the free small batter bowl. Love this for pre-making your um, cookie dough, pancake batter, any of that kind of stuff. So you're going to get that free. And then if you will look at the bottom of your receipt, there's a little box that says Roundup Donation. Pamper Chef supports Feeding America, which are food banks all over the U.S., and we have three ways that we support them. The first way is we have a little cookbook that is called Cookbook for a Cause, and it's made up of all kinds of recipes from TLC celebrities like the Cake Boss, the Little People, the Duggars, and it's not Tater Tot Casserole. I have no idea why they didn't submit that one, but it's not, so if you've watched the Duggars. Um, one dollar from the purchase of each cookbook is donated by Pamper Chef to Feeding America. The second way that we support Feeding America is we have a cork trivet. And this is great not just as a hot trivet, but you can put it on your wall and put little notes and that kind of stuff in it. Two dollars from the purchase of the trivet goes to Feeding America. Then on the bottom of your order form, that roundup box, that is for, on my computer, it will round up your order to the nearest dollar. So say your order is $60.50. It'll round it up to $61. 50 cents will go to the nearest food bank to Stephanie's zip code. One dollar provides eight meals, so it does make a difference. If you have a particular amount you would like to round up, just write it in there. Or if you do not want to round up, I promise it doesn't offend me. Do me a favor and draw a straight line, and that way I'll know not to round up your order. All right, we're going to go really, really fast. The longer I go, the faster I talk. So if I'm losing you, just say, whoa, you got to back that train up. Um, but at the end, we will play a fun game, and y'all can ask me some questions and that kind of stuff. I'll tell you, when I started seven years, my three favorite things about this business are the friends that I have made, not only with my hosts and guests, but I'm an advanced director, which simply means I'm the cheerleader for about 130 people. I'm nobody's boss, nor do I ever want to be their boss, but I get to cheer them along. I also love the income I make with this. Never got into it for money. I asked you what you would do with $500 a month. On average, a new consultant doing just three to five parties for the entire month, not a week, the entire month will make $500. I make a good bit more than that, and when we play a game at the end for surprises, you can be nosy and ask me how much I make. Um, my money is mine. My husband's is ours. Very important. <laughs> um, but I do take care of him two years ago. I bought him a boat for his birthday. 
birthday, so yes, Camper Chuck can get you a new boat. And I do fun little vacations, different things. That's just a personal choice that we don't use it for our um, daily expenses. And then my last thing that I love, I do love the travel that I have gotten to do with Pamper Chef. Just for doing two shows a week and sharing the amazing gift of Pamper Chef, my husband and I have gone to San Francisco on a couple cruises, to Paris, France, to Maui. The whole family went to Disney and stayed at the Grand Floridian. Um, this year in April, I will be going to Los Cabos. I also earned a choice of Dublin, but I'm choosing Cabo. Shh, it's okay. Um, and then this year, the, the trip I will go on next year that each of you will help me earn is to Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. So, awesome. Okay, so a lot of you said you did not have the deep cover baker. Let me tell you, it is a piece of stoneware. So if you're not familiar with stoneware, all stoneware that will physically fit in your microwave is microwavable, and then obviously it can go in the oven. Do not put it in the dishwasher and do not use soap on it to clean it. Just use hot water and you'll get a little brown scraper where, when you get it and you can just um, scrape in there. The more you use it, the uglier it'll get, and that's okay, it's not dirty. Um, some things that I use my deep cover baker for, I will do pasta, 16 minutes in the microwave, just with two cans of chicken broth, chicken, like if you need chicken salad, um, chicken casseroles of any kind, three or four boneless, skinless chicken breasts in here, put a little salt, season them, cover them 12 minutes in the microwave. If you get the baker, the other item you have to have are the salad choppers. Use that to chop up your pasta, use that to chop up your chicken, that kind of stuff, obviously chop up salad. Um, if you want mom of the year points, put Pillsbury cinnamon rolls in here, like the big cinnamon rolls, five will fit in here uncovered four minutes in the microwave. They're going to think that you are the bomb. You can do cakes nine to 12 minutes in the microwave. It's just endless whole chickens, whole um, turkey breast, pork tenderloin, that kind of stuff. For my family, we love barbecue and we're a family of five. So if we were to go to Full Moon, Dreamland, any of those barbecue places, we all get water and nobody gets dessert. It is $50 easily. I can get a package of chicken breast, 10 minutes like I just told you, make my barbecue sauce with a smoky barbecue rub, ketchup, brown sugar, vinegar in the rub, use the salad choppers to chop it up, get a package of hamburger buns, some dill pickles, make some homemade potato chips on our amazing chip maker, get some baked beans, and for $10 we can have that same meal. If I only made that twice and never touched my baker again, it just paid for itself. I personally have two of them, so if you already have one, it doesn't hurt to get a second one or get our small round covered baker for side dishes and that kind of stuff. So you just need to think of the deep covered baker as turning your microwave into a crock pot, but on warp speed. And if you have kids, you don't have kids, you work, you don't work, we're all busy. This is gonna help you make great meals quick. So what we're gonna do, we're going we have fake food here. That's the hardest part of doing this demo. <laughs> we are going to take our veggie wedger with an onion, and we're just going to slice down, and it makes beautiful little wedges. I'm going to put two over here for our salsa for later. The veggie, and then we're going to break the rest up, put it down in here. The veggie wedger is great not only for your onions, but tomatoes, lemons, limes, oranges. If you're doing the juicy things, the best part about it, all the juice goes down in here and not all over your countertop. It's dishwasher safe, so when you're done, just stick it in the dishwasher. It does have a silicone rim on the bottom, so it's not going to slide around on your countertop when you're trying to push down on it. So we're going to put our onion in there. How many of you guys use fresh garlic? If you don't, I highly, highly encourage you to. Um, and I'm going to press one clove in here. If anyone wants to help and come up and use this afterwards, feel free to. Um, I love using two to four cloves of garlic in everything I cook except for my sweets. If you're using garlic powder, you can put the whole bottle in your recipe and you're really not going to tell a difference. Minced garlic will make a little bit of a difference, but be careful because there is an expiration date on it. So when it expires, please, please throw it away because the preservatives in it, um, you don't want to keep it once it is expired. What you do, you don't peel the clove. Pretend this is a clove. The whole thing is a ball. So put a clove in here and then you're simply going to crush it. It comes with a little tool that I like to say looks like a Barbie comb. So you're just going to scrape everything off the bottom and then just dig out the peel. 
You can also use this for ginger, nutmeg, bouillon cubes. If you're going to make homemade soup, put your bouillon cube in there and you can crush it so you don't use a spoon and it goes flying across the oh, counter. Um, my son, my youngest, likes to use it for Play Doh. He'll put a ball of Play Doh in oh, there. My gosh. It is dishwasher safe, so no worries. <laughs> Um, now, a lot of people do not like to touch onion and garlic, so a quick little tip so that you will use onion and garlic when you put <coughs> grab a spoon out of your silverware tray, rub your hands on the spoon, or if your sink is stainless, rub your hands on the sink, and it will take the smell out. So you don't have to worry about going to bed and smelling, you know, all that garlic and onion. Okay, we have a red bell pepper and a green bell pepper. I'm going to use our simple slicer on the green bell pepper. <laughs> love, love, love this. Do any of y'all have the mandolin? Okay, I love that product as well. This is just one that is mainly for slicing, and I think it's a little more practical for most households. It only has one blade. It has a locked position, and then you can do really, really thin. Perfect, again, for those homemade potato chips. If you haven't tried them, you need to try those. The second blade is a little thicker, and then the third blade is the thickest. It is dishwasher safe, and all you're going to do is slide this little piece on. You know it's on there if you can hold it from there. And then I think this looks like a little plunger, so you're just going to put your bell pepper on here. If you're going to make a salad and you need um, radishes, carrots, cucumbers, all those type things, you can put you know, a radish on each little peg, set it right on top of the bowl, and the key to it is rhythm. You can hold it right-handed or left-handed, but then just slide back and forth, and the rhythm is how you're going to, you don't want to hold on to the plunger, just kind of rest your hand on top, and then you're going to slice. This is great if you want to save time. You've got to slice a whole plate of onions or tomatoes for grilling out in the summertime, or if you're real anal and you like everything to be sliced in the same thicknesses. Um, all right, and it is dishwasher safe. I don't know if I said that or not. Okay, let me tell you a couple of tips about bell peppers before I slice the red one with my favorite knife. All bell peppers start out green, and depending on how long they stay in the vine, they turn color. So it's red, I mean, it's green, red, orange, yellow. All bell peppers have more vitamin C in them than oranges. Your green has twice as much, your red, orange, and yellow has four times as much. So great source of um, vitamin C. All right, we are going to slice the bell pepper in half. And the reason that I did that, you want to create a flat surface when you're slicing anything. If I leave it whole or if you're doing a tomato, it's going to roll all over the place. So always create a flat surface before you slice it. I believe every kitchen needs at least one really good knife. If you can't have a complete knife block set, then have at least one really good knife. You can always book a party off Stephanie and get our knife block set half off or free. But my favorite knife is the 5-inch Santuco knife. And this is a part of our German forged steel collection. We have a 7-inch version, so if you like a bigger knife, that one might be better for you. I don't like a knife quite that big. And when you have a knife that is larger like this, the proper way to hold it is put your thumb on the blade and wrap your hand around. And by doing this, I have complete control of where the blade's going to go. If I'm holding back here, it can flip and go wherever it wants. If I put my finger on top of here, especially if it's a utility knife, a paring knife, one that's, you know, a thinner blade, your finger can slip off and go right up underneath. So you want to put your thumb on the blade and wrap around. You'll get used to how that feels. You can just grab it that way. Any good quality knife, whether it be Pampered Chef, if you have Williams, Sonoma, Hinkle, Cutco, any of those, they are not dishwasher safe. So if you want your blade to last you forever, do not put it in the dishwasher. Take a soapy rag, wash it off. I like to dry my knife right away and then put it back in the knife block, but that's all you want to do to take care of it. We also have a collection of green knives that are good. They've got a one-year warranty. Those are great for tailgating, a second home, that kind of stuff. But the German Forge Steel, you're going to invest in it once, and you'll never buy that same knife again. You'll just call me up to add to your collection, but these are lifetime warranty. So they're professional. The biggest difference between them, the green knives are cut out of a big sheet of metal, and these are out of steel. So we're just going to slice our bell pepper. Santuca knife, you go down and pull back. A chef's knife, you would rock it and do the whole Rachel Ray thing. Remember, I don't cook, so we don't do that. Um, we're going to put our bell pepper in here. Then we're going to use a little bit of this. I've got garlic-infused canola oil in our kitchen spritz, so we're going to spray the vegetables. And the reason I'm doing that, I want to spray them with some oil before I put the seasoning so that the seasoning will adhere to the vegetables. If I just put the seasoning in there, it's all going to fall to the bottom of the baker, and it's not going to flavor my vegetables as well. If you are using Pam, and especially if you're using it in your nonstick cookware, be aware that the alcohol in the spray will eventually eat away at your nonstick coating. If you invest in the kitchen spritzer, it saves you money over time. Put any kind of oil in here, vegetable oil, canola oil, olive oil. It's done with air. Once you've invested in this, you'll stop spending money on the 3 and $4 
cans of Pam. So we're just going to pump a little air in there, spray it on our vegetables. I always like to release the pressure or, as I heard um, from a fellow consultant, Burke, the kitchen switches just so it doesn't stay pressurized. Then we're going to add a little Southwestern seasoning, little chili lime rub. We have 50,000 ways to measure stuff, so if you are precise, we've got you covered. I just like to sprinkle it in there until they look covered, so no big deal. We're going to put a little bit of salt with our Himalayan sea salt, and then we're going to do half of a lime. And when you do lemons and limes in the citrus press, you put them face down so that you get all the juice. If you were doing an orange, you'd have to do it face up, but then just squeeze it up there. We all have to go, ooh. Oh, you just saw all that juice, right? Okay. And this is dishwasher safe. So now I'm going to take our chicken. I've already pre-cut off all the little fat and that kind of stuff that Publix doesn't always cut off. So we're going to put our three boneless, skinless chicken breasts over top of that. We're going to do a little more seasoning of both kinds, a little more salt. And now I'm going to let Stephanie pop this in her microwave for 18 minutes. So... Any questions on the baker of fajitas? All right, and at my shows, I would let people ask questions for time's sake. We're not going to. Okay, let's move on to some fresh salsa. How many of y'all have the food chopper and love it? Okay, let me tell you a little story about the manual processor because I love my food chopper and I still use it. It's great for nuts and chicken and chocolate, things that are just single ingredients. Well, you can always tell what consultants think about new products when they're introduced. So two years ago, this manual processor got introduced, and we were all sitting in the room, and all of a sudden, everyone, everyone went, <gasps> and stopped breathing for a few minutes. Because our first thought was, oh my gosh, what's happening to the food chopper? Like, we've had that since the beginning of time. So then we realized we still have it, so then the next thought is, what the heck are we going to do with this manual food processor? So I personally resisted using it for a little while because I thought, well, I love my food chopper and everybody loves the food chopper. And, you know, you get the stress out by banging on that kind of stuff. And then I decided to start making the salsa that comes on your product use and care card for this. So we're going to do that today. And let me tell you, love, love, love this. And I do feel bad from time to time because I kind of cheat on my food chopper and now I use the manual <laughs> processor, but it's okay, you know, we're a happy little family. So what I love about it, let me take the onion out, it's three pieces. How many of y'all have the electric processors? You gotta dig it out of the cabinet, put it together. It's a pain to wash it and that kind of stuff. This is three pieces. These two are dishwasher safe. And this, and it has a little message to remind you, hand wash it with a soapy rag so you don't get a bunch of liquid up in there. And that's it. It is three cup capacity, so you can do lots of ingredients at once or big quantities of the same ingredient. Much easier to do your nuts in here and then dump them into a recipe instead of the base of the food chopper flying off and your nuts going everywhere and you have to start all over. So we've got our onion in here. I've already seeded a jalapeno, so we're going to put that in here. And then we have one cup of cilantro that I used the one cup prep bowl to measure it out. These are part of the batter bowl family, so remember you can get the small batter bowl free with $60 or more today. This is a part of the batter bowl family. You can do individual cakes in here, individual omelets, all sorts of things in here. And then we're going to add a little bit of salt. Now I'm going to add the tomatoes last because whatever is your juiciest ingredient, you always want to do last. So like with this, it will be tomatoes, but you can also make guacamole, hummus, fruit smoothies, baby food. So whatever you're doing in here and you have a juicy ingredient, do that last so it's not pureed. Now, if you need a puree, just, you know, use the manual processor a lot more, and it will. Right-handed or left-handed, so no excuses for people that are left-handed in your family, which three of the five in my household are. Everybody can use it. You simply just, super, super fun if you're right-handed. If you're left-handed, turn it around. Pump this way. If you want to keep your muscles nice and even, alternate which way you pump it. The handle just locks. Now we're going to use the veggie wedger on our tomatoes. And do one tomato at a time. I'm using three. The recipe calls for the grape tomatoes, but I personally think it does a little bit better with the vine ripe. They have a lot more juice in them, so I like to do that. So we're going to that. Now we're just going to add the other half of our lime in here. I like to add a little chili lime rub, and then you have fresh salsa. How easy is that? Okay, our fajitas still have a few more minutes, so we are going to play a fun little game. But let me tell you a couple little specials before we play the fun little game. Um, this month, Stephanie is eligible to get anywhere from one piece to two sets of cookware, 60% off, from any of our three lines. 
So great, great special. I only have one date left. I have February 26th left if someone wants to book a cooking show off, Stephanie. But anybody can do a catalog show and you can also get cookware. Or if March is a little bit better for you, I can help you get cookware 50% off if you're still wanting cookware. But this month is cookware. Next month, March, we have a brand new catalog coming out. So we also have new products, and I have a few dates left in March. And our special is the manual food processor, the food chopper, simple slicer, or mandolin, 60% off. For each of you that book off of Stephanie, she's going to get credit. And so at your party, you will get the special, and she's also going to get the special. So that's always great. We have to at least have two people book a party, or I am spending the night. Stephanie's already told me that she doesn't have room for me tonight. So <laughs> someone book a party so I can go home. Your guests in March get to choose from our flexible cutting mat, love, love, love these, or our bar boards, a great special. I also like to share with y'all, I am not a psychic, I can't read anyone's mind, so I never know who might need some more income, who might need a social outlet, who was trying to put braces on a kid's teeth, a kid through college, any of those different things. So I always like to share with you that Pampered Chef, we do extra little incentives, and this month the extra incentive is that you can get started for as low as $40. Super, super easy. There's no risk. Lots of fun. So if, you know, you or someone you know is interested in having some extra income, they want to travel, they want to meet some new people, that kind of stuff, then take a look at that. I am a visual person. I'm a CPA, remember, so I like to think, see things in black and white. And this just gives you a snapshot of what you can get out of Pampered Chef in your first 30 days. Do three or four parties. You know, give it a try. This shows you what you will get. If something catches your eye in there for yourself or someone else, be sure to take a copy in the front, and then you'll have that. We'll also chat when I get ready to do your order. I always like to share that we have an apron sale, and that just simply means there's no right or wrong reason to try Pampered Chef. Maybe you work part-time and you want to do this part-time. Maybe you work full-time and are trying to get rid of that job. You need the social outlet like I need it. You want your money and your husband's money, that kind of stuff. Um, so there's no one reason to start Pampered Chef. On the back of that flyer is a paycheck of mine from August of 2010, so a couple years ago. Y'all can be nosy and see how much I made then. We're going to play a game where you can ask me what I make now because it is a little bit more than what this paycheck um, says, so just kind of take a look at that. This is some frequently asked questions about Pampered Chef, so take a look at that as well, and I have some copies if you'd like to take one home. A lot of people don't realize we have fundraisers. It doesn't matter what you need a fundraiser for. I have done mission trips, Boy Scout troops, Girl Scout troops, traveling ball teams, medical related fundraisers. Pampered Chef will donate 15% of the profit from, or 15% of the sales in cash, and I always choose to donate 10% of my commission. So it's a 25% profit. So if you have a fundraiser need, if you're a mom like me and you are tired of wrapping paper and cookie dough and pizza sales and all that, think about doing a Pampered Chef fundraiser. And then if you know anyone getting married, help them start, even if they don't cook, because most brides do not cook, but eventually they're going to, help them start their kitchen with the right things and we can do a Pampered Chef um, bridal shower. So, we're going to play Stealing Hearts, and I'm actually not going to play it today for time's sake, but you can go to YouTube and kind of look up how to play Stealing Hearts. When I play it, I do say that you guys, how many hearts are in a deck of cards? Someone will say 13, and I'll say, okay, you guys may ask me 13 questions about anything you want to know about what I do, be as nosy as you like, or about hosting your own show, what's involved, what you're going to get out of it, and all that kind of stuff. And then we go through the questions. I will say when I do that, I would say 90% of the questions are about the business. And that gives you lots of red flags of who's in your audience. So the only thing I am going to show, I will show you the booking slide. Because if someone has not asked what they get for hosting a show, I then either plant that question. Or I will say when I hand out the 13th card, I'll say, okay, nobody asked what you get for having a show. Doesn't someone want to know? And I don't have a card to give, but I still go through it. Um, so this is what I say. Okay, we're going to find out what you get for hosting the show. I didn't create this, but we're all going to ooh and ah when I get ready to show it to you. Are you ready? Here's how you want to host a show. Okay, the best reason to host is the free product you're going to get. On average, my hosts get anywhere from about $100 to $150 free. When I say free, I mean free. No tax, no shipping, it's free. Then you're going to get half-price items, anywhere from one to four half-price items. What's great about this, I don't pick what's half-price and the company doesn't pick. It's the whole catalog and you pick what you want based on the size of your party. 
Then you get a discount. So if you didn't get it free, if it wasn't half off, if it wasn't the monthly special, like this month is the cookware, so if it wasn't that, and there's still things you want, you're going to earn anywhere from a 15 to a 30% discount depending on the size of your party. Again, I don't decide what you can use that discount on, and Pampered Chef doesn't. It's your choice of the whole catalog for as much as you want. So if you have $500 more of stuff you want, you can get it discounted. The host always gets free shipping. Each of you as guests of Stephanie are just going to pay a flat $5.25 whether you order $5 or $500. But as the host, you get free shipping on your order. Then there's always that monthly host special we've talked about. This is icing on the cake. Don't pick when you want to host your show based on that. If you don't like the host special, you're not obligated to buy it. You can always get it and put it in your gift closet or just forfeit it all together. So this is just kind of icing on the cake. The main reason you want to host is I'm going to help you get lots and lots of free. And who doesn't like free, right? Then the booking benefit. For each of you that book off of Stephanie within the next six months, she's going to get credit for that. And what that means, at her part, at your party, she will get the monthly host special, as will you. So as many of y'all that want to book, we'll just keep cooking. We can do fajitas. We can do all kinds of recipes. Um, then one, from one year after we close your show, you'll have a 10% discount. This applies to anything you order, whether it be at a show. On my website, I have an outlet of discontinued products that are discounted. Your 10% applies on top of that. If you go to someone else's show, you can use your 10% discount. So be sure and let them know you have one. If they say, oh, no, no, I didn't do your show, it doesn't apply, they just lie to you. It does apply no matter who the <laughs> consultant is. If you wanted to try the business, you could do where you used up to $40 of your free product and get started for a discount. So 100 and, well... See, my math is not going to work today because I'm in so much. Uh, anyway, you can get 40, up to $40 off on your starter kit. The best reason to host is because I will be your chef for the afternoon and evening. So why would you not want me to come cook for you? Okay, so then we will, and then I would have given out prizes. I give three prizes. It doesn't have to be anything big. If you're brand new, it can be recipe cards, citrus peels. It doesn't really matter what you give away. People just want a prize. So I give three. I do not put them in. Um, gift bags so they see what it is and it's always entertaining to see what they're going to fight over. So after I've given out that prize, then I will end with my survey drawing form. I have um, my own mainly because I have a place on here for Facebook friend. So this is what I would do at the end. I would say, okay, we're going to do one more little door prize. I need everybody to fill out your survey drawing form. You'll get to pick a goodie out of my goodie bag. There is a place for your email address. If you would like to receive my newsletter each month with recipes and food tips and specials, fill your email address in. Make sure I can tell if it's a letter versus a number, an underscore versus period, all those different symbols. Also, if you'd like to be friends with me on Facebook, write your name, how I can send you a friend request. A lot of people have made names in there. I promise I don't tell you every time I go to the bathroom. No worries. But I do post specials and recipes and that kind of stuff on there. If when I send you the friend request, you change your mind, you don't have to confirm it. It's not that big of a deal. Then there's three questions to answer. The first one is if you're interested in booking a party off Stephanie, yes, maybe, or no. The second one is if you or someone you know would like some more information about the business and would like to earn about $500 a month, yes, maybe, or no. I promise I am not the Pampered Chef stalker. I'm not going to call you every hour on the hour. I'm not going to send you a certified letter. I'm not going to type your address into my GPS and sit outside your door waiting for you to come outside. I want you to host a show with me if you want to host, and I want you to join my team if you want to join. I love doing what I'm doing, and I don't ever want to talk anyone into doing this. So then the last question is if Stephanie became a consultant, would you host a show with her? And that's on there because about 70% of my team, they're hosts first. They see how easy it is with what I just did, and they're like, oh my gosh, you she can do that, I'm going to do it about 10 times better. So then instead of me doing the parties for her friends, she's going to come and do them. So if you would just fill these out, fold them in half, and then hand them to Stephanie. I'm going to finish getting our fajitas ready. I'm just going to use the salad choppers to chop them up. We'll have them in the kitchen. Take your time shopping, socializing, and all that. If you are done with your order, my laptop's in the kitchen. Just put it face down on my laptop. I'll start um, figuring those up for you. You don't have to figure the tax and all. And then I'll just call you up one at a time to check you out. There you go.